Good afternoon, this is Sam Cox with another tutorial video on how to set up grades in your PowerTeacher Pro gradebook. Today we're going to be looking at how to set up grades or assignments for some of your traditional classes, traditionally scored classes like science, social studies, writing, and maybe our specials classes. Today I'm using a fourth grade teacher's uh, sample gradebook from Lincoln Elementary School and we're going to work on setting up an assignment in science. I can enter PowerTeacher Pro by clicking PowerTeacher Pro link in any category. Today since I'm doing science I'll go ahead and click the science link. When my gradebook loads I want to come up to the top and make sure I'm working in the correct subject area. So I am in science. And as always, I want to make sure I have the correct term indicated. Again, in a live gradebook, you should have quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, or quarter four. I already have a couple of assignments created, but I want to create a new assignment today. So I'm going to go up to my Create button up here on the top right and create a new assignment. I have the same four tabs as when I was setting up assignments in my standards-based grades but now I'm working in a traditional grade, so a few less buttons that I'll have to check. I always want to make sure I'm working in the correct subject, so again I click Science. Let's see, this time I'm going to do an assignment called Weather Data Collection. And this is a classwork assignment. Remember, classwork, homework, project, quiz, or test are categories you might use in your traditional classrooms or in your traditional courses. Standard assessment, standard coursework are for reading and math. This is a classwork assignment that I'm creating today. I do want to continue to keep this um, score type at points. And I'm going to say that this is a 50-point uh, assignment. It had a total of 50 possible points that students could have earned. I do want this particular assignment counted in the student's uh, final grade, so I'll keep that box checked. You can uncheck it if you do not want to count it in the final grade. And I'm going to say that the assignment due date is on August 30th. Next I come over to the Students tab and I can choose if I want to assign this assignment to all of my students or if I want to add remove students maybe because of special learning needs they're not doing this particular assignment, you could deselect a student. In this example, I'm using all of my students, so I'll keep Show Selected Students, and I won't change anything there. Then I'm going to come over to the Standards tab. Because I'm not working in a standards-based subject like reading and math, you can see that there are no selected standards associated. Uh, if I click back and forth between these two tabs, it does not show me any standards. So I don't really have to worry about that tab in our traditional subject areas. Then the Publish tab, here's where I can determine when I want these scores published, if I want it done right away or never or on a particular due date, and I can always check or uncheck the Publish Scores tab. So now I've finished setting up my assignment. I'm ready to save it. I always got to remember to save and close that window. If I'm ready to score the assignment immediately, I can come over here to score assignments. Or if I want to do it at a later date, I'll just wait and let that assignment go off. To score this assignment, you can always come to grading and assignment list. That'll take you to this screen. I've already scored my mixtures and scientific method assignments, so now I'm going to score my weather data collection. I'll click that link and it takes me to the score page. Remember this was a 50 point assignment, so I want to make sure I enter scores between 0 and 50. So I'll enter some random scores now. Okay, before I leave the screen, I just do want to show you that you can always uh, change your scores over here if you need to as well. I simply entered my scores in the column. Once you're finished with your scores, make sure you save your scores. 
One other thing I do want to show you, if you have other information you want to fill in on your report card, you do have things like missing, incomplete, an exempt assignment, uh, if it was late or if a student was absent. Um, you can also fill scores down the column if you want as well. Save my scores. Tells me that my data was saved. That's good. And I always like to come back to my score sheet and see how my students are doing. Okay, looking at the score sheet, we see all three assignments that I've given so far this quarter. Then we see their cumulative uh, correct number correct over number possible, their current percentage in the class, and their current letter grade in the class. Okay, that's a quick video on how to set up traditional grades. As always, if you have questions, please shoot me an email at sam.cox at deltaschools.com. Or, as always, I'm sure you have gradebook experts at your school and you can ask them for help as well. Thank you and stay tuned for another video on a different gradebook topic at another time.